In the previous video, we learned about parallel queries. In this video, let's take a look at dynamic parallel queries. Now to explain what dynamic parallel queries mean, I have set up some code. Let me walk you through what I've done. In the components folder, I've created a new file called dynamicparallel.page.js. Within the file, we have a component that needs to fetch some data. So at the top, we have use query and axios imported. The data we need to fetch is the hero details. The details about one single hero. We have the fetcher function that retrieves hero details by ID. However, the component does not fetch details for just one hero. It may have to fetch data for multiple heroes. So it accepts a prop called hero IDs, which is an array of hero IDs. You can see that in action in app.js where I have configured a new route for the component. The path is rq-dynamic-parallel and we invoke dynamic parallel page component passing in hero IDs, which is an array of two numbers, one and three. At the moment, it is hard coded to just the two values, but I want you to imagine a scenario where the user can see a table of heroes select one or more heroes and fetch their details. So the component will not know beforehand how many queries to execute. And a very important point to keep in mind is that if the number of queries you need to execute is changing from render to render, you cannot use manual querying as that would violate the rules of hooks. In other words, what we have learned in the previous video of simply invoking use query multiple times is not sufficient for dynamic parallel queries. Hero ID being the dynamic part of the query. To cater to this specific scenario, React Query provides another hook called use queries. Let's see how to make use of it in this video. Begin by changing use query to use queries. Next, within the component, call the hook. Now this hook has a different syntax, which can only be understood after I write the code. We have hero IDs, which is an array. So as an argument to use queries, we're going to map over the IDs and return an object that translates to a query. So hero IDs dot map, and this gives you access to the ID in each iteration. From the function, we're going to return an object which has two properties. The first one is the query key. We specify superhero as a string followed by the ID. This is nothing but the first argument to use query. The second property is query function where we call the fetcher function passing in the ID. So our function fetch superhero and we pass in ID. This again is the second argument to use query. All we are doing is finding another way to call use query to make sure we are not violating the rules of hooks. Use queries will help us with that. So for every ID in hero IDs, we are now making a separate query. But what does use queries return? Well, it returns an array of query results. So const query results is equal to use queries. I'm going to log it to the console as we don't have to spend time writing the JSX. That should be pretty familiar to you by now. So query results. And I log it within an object so that we have both key and value for query results. 
Let's go back to the browser and see if this works. Navigate to localhost 3000 slash RQ dynamic parallel. In DevTools, you should see two queries. One for ID equal to one, which is Batman, and the other for ID equal to three, which is Wonder Woman. And if we take a look at the logs, you can see the query results. It is nothing but an array corresponding to two use query hooks. So that is about dynamic parallel queries using the use queries hook. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.